Golly. Oh my gosh. What an unorganized mess that was. Shit, now we're like super fucking slow too. Uh, let's all follow Louise because she is the slowest. What is her leg at? Oops. Right leg's at five. So she is, <laughs> she is feeling it. N minus 89%. This guy's trying to fight us, really? Just knock his ass down. Oh, he's blocking really well. No, didn't take much. All right, I'll follow Louise. She tries to limp back to back home. I don't think we're that far, though, right? Uh, we're not that far. Eh. I think we're limping a little. F no, he he might be limping faster than we are. Hmm. Let's click to go home, and then fast forward. Yeah, I think we're outrunning him. <laughs> I think we're outlimping him. Oh, they went over to fight him. Teddy, what are you doing? Come on. Get back down here. Oh, no. Yeah, you can't go that way. So hurry up. Pathfinding is a little wonk at sometimes. Okay, Teddy's making it back. He's fast enough to catch up. Let's turn around. Let's see if there's any more groups of bandits, because holy crap. Uh-oh. We have to pass through town. Uh. Crap. Maybe we'll be fine. You know, I don't think we have any soul and stuff on us anymore, do we? No. I mean, I've got this stuff. They don't like technology, like certain technologies and shit. So they might freak out a little bit. So if they try to check our gear, I'll have them check. Ooh. Is he saying that about us? Agents from the darkness of dark abyss. Beat will be purged. Okay, we don't have to go through town. Bob, dude, what are you doing? Bob, Teddy, stop. <laughs> oh, no, I don't, I don't, I'm not even going through your town, dude. I'm not even going through your town. Run, everybody run. <laughs> Blessings upon you. You go fuck yourself. I always catch up to Louise. You there, woman. Watch your br bests. Bests? Shouldn't that be breasts? Watch your breasts. The Noli, Noli Nation has... Control of non-humans for the good of... Blah, 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 blah. Any troubles you... Mm-hmm. I think he was talking about you, Teddy. About us owning you or something. <clears throat> what? Oh, beasts. That was beasts. I misread that. I'm a dummy. <laughs> I think it should be changed to breast, though. I mean, honestly. I think that makes for better, uh, <laughs> better content. Okay, I'm clicking for home. Let's go home. How's your leg doing? Uh, Louise. It's up to 23. Not bad. Any more bandits? Son of a bitch. Yes, more bandits. Let's go around him. Yeah, okay. They don't see us. We're good. We'll just hurry up and try to get inside. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it, they looped back around and saw us. All 
right, everybody. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, just take off our backpacks in preparation of the fight. Dang. Okay, Linda can't take hers off. Ow. That didn't hurt that bad. Good job, Teddy. Ooh, watch out, Teddy. Ow. Dude, he is taking it. Tanking it, man. Hurry, Tina, run. Uh-oh. How's Teddy doing? He's still up. He won't go down till negative 44, so... He's pretty good. Teddy, I think Teddy's good for now. Oh, uh-oh. He's getting hit. Tina's actually in pretty good shape, so she probably's got that fight over there pretty well. Yeah, and there we go. Linda's helping her out. My baby! Don't attack my baby! <laughs> Blibby. Okay. Yeah, everybody get inside. Fuck it. We might come out here and... Oh. Uh-oh. Shit. Don't, don't, don't fuck with me. Don't do this. Don't do this to me. Why are they coming to attack me? Son of a bitch. Ugh. All right, fine. None of my slaves inside have weapons, so they can't come out and help us. Oh, wow. Good job. Was that Teddy? Gene can come out and help us, though. Fuck. Come here, Gene. Come out and help us. We've got a repair kit for you now, so... Yeah, we might have that all right. Oh, God. No, Teddy went down. That's not good. His slave's just standing there, so that's good. Wow, unconscious for a really long time. Maybe Gene can carry somebody inside. Golly. I don't know why they turned hostile. Alright, now let's uh <clears throat> throw these uh prisoners in the cage. And then we'll come back and carry some people. Gene, uh pick up Oh, I forgot to heal them too. I mean they're not they're not that bad. Come pick up somebody. Come heal heal both of them. He's got med packs on him, yeah. Come heal both of them. And then pick them up and carry them aside. Man, run into a ton of bandits. But we finally made it inside. Um, Tammy? Wow, she's starving to death. Where is the... Sometimes you can click on it through the door. Or through the ceiling. Alright, come over here, Tammy. She's literally starting to death. Why can't she go any faster? Is it because she's starving to death? Golly, everybody is starving to death. Put a whole bunch of fruit in people's inventories earlier. Yeah, see this green fruit, it just it does not <laughs> provide enough nutrition. Alright, actually, <clears throat> you know what? I'm gonna I'll go ahead and uh, get everybody situated with food. I'm gonna try to recruit all these prisoners. Um, I'll build, definitely build some more cages because they've been working on iron plates, so I should have, you know, a little bit of a surplus. And then I'll I'll jump back to it because I, I let me get everything kind of organized and start 
bringing everybody in and start recruiting all my slaves. And then I'll uh, I'll jump back to it. I present to you the crafting house. I uh, took all those research books I had, threw them in the research bench, and uh, did a whole bunch of research. And then I went to uh, the Holy Nation, sold my stuff, and uh, bought even more research books. <laughs> research how to build like a bigger house. Because I wanted to make sure I had a bigger house before I made all these crafting benches I had researched. Um, and then I went to the Holy Nation farm, just right over there, that one. And I borrowed some wheat because you actually need wheat and cotton in order to start, in order to research and make and build, you know, these uh, the farms. So I went and borrowed some some wheat and uh, cotton, and then made a little bit. And then once these come in, I can make even more farms because I'd like to have a lot of these farms because the wheat specifically, because the wheat I can make bread out of, I can make grog, and I can make power. I can make fuel. Actually, I can make fuel with the green fruit, which is probably what I'll do. So I'll for the wheat, I'll make grog and bread, and so which brings us over here. Oh, look at that! The Holy Nations are using it. The grain silo. You take the wheat, and you take a whole bunch of wheat, and you grind it down, and it takes I don't know what the ratio is five to one or ten to one uh, to make flour, and then boom, you make the flour, you throw it in there, and make bread. Which oh, it takes water too. Yeah, water and flour, straw flour, and then bread. But it takes a lot of freaking wheat in order to make the flour. Um, with the green fruit, I can make biofuel with that. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing that. And then maybe use some of it to cook with. I haven't made the cooking stove yet. Because I want to make like a house with beds in it and stuff. Uh, but once the cotton comes in, um, I can use this, the fabric loom, to make the cotton into fabric. Oh, wow. The Holy Nation Farm is already using it. But yeah, I can make that a... Uh, I can make fabric, and then with that fabric I can make beds, like proper beds, not just like these little camping mats, you know. I can make actual beds, which heal faster, heal you faster, so. Um, the downside is, to these uh, crafting benches, is that they require power, which I have not done yet. I was thinking about doing some windmills, getting some windmills going. Because um, I've got the small generator, which it only, it requires less wind. In order to use, because, uh, let's see, let me s actually just do this one, Tina. Prospect. So it's 2.7 miles per hour now. I think for the big one, I'd have to look it up on the wiki, but the big one's a lot more. I think it's like four. It has to be at least like four. And the smaller one, oh, God, what is it? I don't know. Uh, you know, you can look it up on the wiki or I'll, you know, just Kenji, Kenji wiki. But uh, you can look at the exact numbers. But the, the small wind generator requires less wind in order to produce power, which is just much better. Because the wind is very finicky. And plus, I think it... Does it power output? Oh, yeah. It has half the power output, but requires less wind. So it's more reliable in that way. Um, but it requires electrical components, but it, which I don't have on me right now. And this one requires copper, which I also don't have on me. I'd have to go buy either of those. But what I can do, oh, generator, I'm going to need, yeah, I'm going to need to buy iron, uh, copper for that anyway. I like the uh, generators, but they do require someone constantly, you know, uh, filling it with fuel. Okay, we can make this. We can start making the fuel now, so that'll be good. Let's do that, actually. Let's go ahead and pop this down. I'll make a slave. Should I put it? No, let's put it. Over here on this side. That way we don't have to run as far. So I put it there. The green fruit is just right here in this building. And they can grab the green fruit, run around here. Yeah, and here you go. You cycle between wheat straw and green fruit. I want to use green fruit. Because I've got a lot of it right now. And it doesn't make very good food. So. The bread makes for much better food. Versus green fruit just straight, straight away. So. I've never made a corpse fern. So I might have to do that sometime. And then the generator. The generator we'll put right next to it, too. Um, but we'll need to go to town and buy some copper. Uh, let's see. And then storage. We definitely want to make some storage. Fuel storage. If we have it researched. Yeah. Awesome. Let's put it here on the other side of that. There we go. So this will come. This will power our whole place right now. I think that will be enough power once we get all that set. 
the research or these benches only use power when you're using them, so that's good. This uh, fabric loom doesn't require any power. Let's see, does everything require power? Yeah, it looks like it, yeah. Including the research bench up top that we've never actually used. Because for some reason, I guess it's just like a little glitch that uh, we're able to use a basic research bench. I still have three books left after using up all the ones we found and buying more and then using those. So I could find some things. I don't really know what I'd want to do, though. Let's have Gene be a farmer. Oh, I need to research the well and stuff. Get Because you can get electric wells. See, he's having to make the water right now. You can get electric wells where they just automatically bring in water. But I just don't have power right now, so I can't really use those. Yeah, I'll have to go buy some copper from town. But I'll do that, though. Um, I sold those maps and stuff. The ones that were worth like three and seven grand. I've, I've sold almost all of them. I've got one left, I think. Yeah, this one right here. The old treasure map. And, um... God, I think it's worth seven. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold on to that. I, actually, I can... Maybe I'll have Mr. Fishoder run to town and... Go ahead and go buy the copper. Oh, and, and then I made also this over here. Look at that. I spent a lot of iron plates and uh, just <laughs> made a ton of cages for my <laughs> prisoners. I got a few prisoners in here right now. I just don't really need the extra help. I don't have them anything for them to do. And we're already running really low on food. Yeah, some of these guys are starting to get really hungry. Because the green fruit, I'll just fill their inventory up with this green fruit, but it just doesn't... It's not filling, so it doesn't last long. What do you have building materials? Get rid of that. And iron, too. What do you have iron in your inventory? Daryl. Okay, let's give him some green fruit. They don't come and grab this green fruit automatically. It's, it's a little annoying. They'll come and grab food that's in this thing, but that's like meat and... I think they think this is an... I see this as an ingredient. And so they don't really think to come eat it, but if they're starving, they should. Okay, where's Mr. Fishoder? I'm gonna have him run to town and uh, run and get some copper. What, is it copper plates or just copper? Just copper, huh? So it should be copper ore then, I think. Um, let's have, uh, let's have Jimmy Jr. come over here and do this. I forget what this obedient slave... I remember reading about it for like a second. It popped up somewhere and I read a, read about it, but I forgot what it meant. The obedient slave? I guess that means he like listens better? Okay, there we go. Yeah, see, look, it's going to take a lot of green fruit just to make one fuel. But, and, you know, it'll be worth it there in the end. And then he can haul it to the storage. He should do that automatically, but I'll put that on this... On his uh, queue. Oh, god damn it. Look at all this shit. Here's here's another tip. Here's a little helpful tip. Um, I, di I forgot to fucking do it again. Uh, but the first time I built my walls, I built this gate inward. I made it kind of like a V. And the gate was inward. And uh, once these walls get upgraded, they're like the walls in the bigger towns where you can walk on them. And you can mount crossbows on it. And if it's at an angle like that, that means you can shoot things that are waiting at your front gate. See this? I could I could probably shoot most of this, but it's going to be hard to see this stuff that's like pushed up against the gate right there. But if you have that V formation, like I accidentally did the first time I did it, like I could just shoot anything that's just waiting like right there in front of my gate. So just FYI, when you're building your walls, put a little V in it. We're going to have to come this way, Mr. Fish. Mr. Fish Shoulder, put a V in there and then you'll be able to uh, shoot things that are waiting at your gate like these fuckers. See, I can't I can't go out that door because there's too damn many of them. Uh, but once I research the mounted crossbows and the better walls, you know, I'll put a crossbow up on there and I'll upgrade the walls, but I still, I don't know, I probably won't be able to hit them all. Okay, he's just sitting there. Okay, well that's not a big deal. 
I didn't want to risk it with the other. I mean, the other ones might have done that, but I didn't want to risk it. But let's have Mr. Fish to run to town, and I'll, um... What does he have? Is he have? Okay, he's got that on him. They might not like that. They got onto me. Bob's got a <laughs> huge bounty. See, he had some stuff on him like that, and uh, I don't think they liked it when they checked his bag. And I, I ran away and then came back like the next day, and I, they like completely forgot. They had like super short term memory, so they completely forgot. I guess. Who is something killing these guys? Nice. Come help him out, Fish Odor. Or not? Maybe I don't know. He's doing pretty good, so let's just. Come get the leather. Since now that I've got leather crafting available to me, I'll need these. Le I'll need this leather. I don't really want to attack it and aggro like all of this over here. I'll come back. He'll have them all killed by then, I'm sure. Oh gosh, I hope they have copper ore to buy. If not, I do actually know where some copper ore is um, to mine, but God, that would fucking take forever, though. My uh, On my other playthrough, my uh, base is actually on the other side of this over here in the desert, and I, I don't like the desert. It's just rough. Like, there's just no fertile land, and so it just it's a lot harder to grow crops and shit. Like, my wheat output is like 60% or something like that. Yeah, it's like, it's right over there in that little corner. It's a cool spot and all, but I just really don't like the desert. That's like the biggest downside. Okay, he had three dots. He didn't say anything. <laughs> he looks a little agitated. Okay, let's see if this guy's got copper. If not, the engineer shop should. What the fuck? Why is Gene getting attacked? that guy get in how are these guys my door's closed somehow this guy managed to like wiggle his way in here I don't really know how that happened sneak sees them you're not talking about me right I'm talking about those weird nasty things right those river raptors, that's what they're called. Gene, you be... Yeah, you be passive, buddy. You just stay here. Just hide. <laughs> what is, what's going on? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why is the Holy Nation beating on my door? Guys, 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 I know you're mad. But just repair it, okay? repair it and walk away let's see if I can get these holy nation assholes out of my assholes out of my freaking how are they slipping through I th that's gotta be a glitch right don't attack my door dude Listen, here, I'll, I'll open the door. Oh my god, you're so annoying. See, you're committing... Look, you're committing a crime, you shit. Oops. Unlocked it, but it didn't open it. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh my god, dude, stop attacking my fucking door. Oh, they're repairing it. Okay. I was afraid they were going to start attacking the nation or something. I will get all that leather, though. He will not stop fucking it. Okay, he's done. Thank you. Fucking Jesus. Let me switch back over to Fish Odor and <laughs> talk very close to this guy. Um, I could do with some more research books. I've got a lot of money right now, so. And I could grab some electrical components. I'll grab uh, eight of them. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, because I can do two small windmills that way. And I'll grab all of this. And then I needed copper, right? There's fabric. I'm about to be able to make my own fabric, so I don't need that. 
And I'll have plenty of leather from all those dead river raptors. Medical supplies, I don't really know what that does, but... Yeah, blech. I think maybe the engineer will have uh, some copper, hopefully. If not, I'm going to have to frickin' mine it myself. Frickin'. I'm going to have to frickin' mine it. All right, buddy. Show me the copper. Ooh, see, they don't like ancient science books, Holy Nation, so that's just asking for trouble. Oof. No, no copper ore. Well, shit. Can I sell them this? Yeah. Give me some more books. Nice. Okay, well, Mr. Fishoder, you're going to have to go mine some copy yourself. Is that one iron? Iron, iron, copper. What's going on? What's going on? Crap. Come on, man. Holy Nation's attacking me. Not cool, dudes. Ugh. Gene. Oh, where are these dudes coming from? Why are they in my base? That's so annoying. I had walls up and shit. Let's fuck them up. Let's fuck up the holy nation. These assholes. Wow. Uh. They are kicking my ass. Alright, yep. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. It's these paladins, I think, that are... Teddy, come over here. Help us. Damn, yeah, they fucked us up. Yeah, these fucking paladins and shit are really strong. And they've got pretty good armor. Okay, okay, I get it. No, Tina, no. Just heal yourself, buddy. Oh, please don't kill her. Okay, she's just knocked unconscious. Oops, I didn't mean to jump here. Alright, Teddy, just stay down. Everybody just stay down. They better not take my sword. I'll be mad. I don't think they usually loot. Yeah, it looks like, okay, it looks like they're just healing their other guys, so. I think it's because we had that door open, and maybe they tried to walk through and regroup with their group on the other side. And that's why they, like, walked right in. But, I mean, they got in to begin with, with my door shut, so. Gene, heal yourself. Son of a bitch. Attack that farmer, would you? <laughs> Actually, that farmer doesn't have a weapon either, so. Alright, Gene. Just hit him once in his foot, and he's fine. He'll, be, he'll go down. Right foreleg. Come on. There we go. Fuck you. Alright, go close the front door, too. I don't want any more Holy Nation coming in. God, I did I did Gene an in injustice for making him a fucking robot. That was really a bad call, especially because I wanted to live in Holy Nation territory. But you know what? It's that's yeah. You know, I want to diversity though. Linda, heal yourself. Bob, heal yourself. Louise, Tina, where did? Oh, she captured somebody. Who'd you capture? Oh, nice. Teddy, who yourself? He just goes right back to work, doesn't he? Everybody go back and go to sleep. Go get some rest. I think I already looted those two, right? Yeah, okay. Damn. 
Okay, well, you know, shit happens, so... Alright, Mr. Fishoder, how you doing with that copper? Oh, one. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to have to mine it myself. It's just going to take forever is why. And there's a... This is a pretty band infested area too, typically. But yeah, look at that. That's where my base is at. My wall just... Choo, 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 comes right there. And then I've and I've got that mo there's iron right there I've got that enclosed where my wall comes around this way. That's yeah, really cool. Come back in another world and see it empty. All right, let's keep an eye on Mr. Fish Odor. Watch his back. Make sure nothing comes up to sneak up and uh, rob him from behind. I thought I, don't, I think I have anything. Uh. Hungry Bandit would want. Starving Bandit would want. I don't have any food. They might take my weapon, though. I hear footsteps. What is that? Okay. Holy Nation right there. Jeez. 20% efficiency. The richness. Richness is low, so I guess that helps with... Or hurts the speed, really. Oh, yeah, okay. I think maybe the... Uh, Efficiency can't reach past the richness, the proper copper quality, the richness of it. Because it's the, yeah, 40 and 40, so that wouldn't make sense. How many do we need? Four copper? It's going to take like a day to do this. Like a whole in-game day to mine that. Alright, well, um, I'll go ahead and, you know what, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. God, I, I might have to edit some shit out. I think I've got <laughs> a couple hours worth of stuff. I don't time myself well. Uh, but I think I'll go to the end, end the episode here. We'll get this copper and we'll get Mr. Fish Odor back to the base uh, safely. Uh, we'll go ahead and make that power generator. And then, um, I don't know, I'll figure out what to do from there. I guess start crafting and things like that. I'll recruit some more slaves and make some of them, uh, one of my weaponsmith and armor smith. I'll get him. He'll have to make a whole bunch of stuff in order for him to, like, get his skill up, so. Really, you just want one person working on the stuff to, like, specialize. So I'll, uh, I'll decide who gets to be the smiths and stuff later. Uh, but for now, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.